Hey, security researcher here once again. Thanks for checking out this video. Today's video is going to demonstrate the key fob relay attack. This is a method that automobile thieves are using to break into cars to steal the contents of the cars and also the cars themselves. This attack affects millions of automobiles. It isn't just luxury cars. If you have a wireless key fob and can get into your car and start your car without the keys actually going into a lock, your car is vulnerable to this kind of attack. That said, the information contained in this video is not intended for the criminally minded. This really truly is about education. You cannot make informed decisions about things as complex as your technology if you don't know the least bit about it. So in a second, I'm going to show you some surveillance camera footage that was submitted to the West Midlands Police Department over in the UK as part of an automobile theft investigation that clearly shows the theft of a car wirelessly. Yes, it turns out that all of that technology that's been pumped out to us over the last 20 years that people like myself have been warning you about isn't that secure, and you really don't have any control over it, no matter what the marketing tells you. Whether that marketing is a paid advertisement or a paid news story, the stuff is not as secure as they said it was, and now they want you to have driverless cars. And we're going to cover what a hacker can do to your car just because if your car was made in the last 10 years, your brake pedal isn't connected to your brakes. Your steering wheel isn't connected to your wheels. It's all run by computer, and the automobile industry hooked up your car to the cellular network. Brilliant job, guys. Brilliant job. So let's get into this one and look at the key fob relay attack. Okay, so what did we just see happen? What you just watched was a communication protocol relay attack. The car security system transmits an authentication challenge when you approach the vehicle. And it's trying to communicate with your keys. And it's saying, are you the keys that belong to this vehicle? The first thief, you see him walk up to the car, and you'll see him actually pull on the handle. He's trying to trigger that authentication challenge. His device hears that authentication challenge and relays it to his partner's device while he's standing over by the house. What he's doing is he's trying to communicate with the key fob that's within 30 feet of his device. On a handheld device in this configuration, the range is approximately 30 feet. So the authentication challenge comes from the car security system to the first thief's device. His device relays that authentication challenge to his partner's device that then sends that challenge onto the keys the keys transmit back the correct response from Thief 2's device back to Thief 1's device and then onto the car's security system. As far as the car is concerned, it just spoke to the keys, so it lets the guy into the car. Now, at that point, you'll see the second thief walk away from the house while he's looking down at his device. What he's trying to do is get out of the range of his device to the key fob so that the communication is broken. Once that happens, everything resets and he can start his attack back over again. Thief 1 is sitting inside the car, and the car's computer system is saying, Okay, I understand that you want to start the car, but are the keys here? That challenge is sent from Thief 1's device back to Thief 2's device, who's now standing back at the house. His device transmits that challenge to the key fob, and the key fob goes, Yeah, of course I'm in the car. Go ahead and start. 
that response is transmitted back to the first guy's device and onto the car's computer system, and you see the vehicle start, and they drive off. At this point, it's easy to see why this is such a fantastic way to steal cars. There's no broken window, there's no punch steering column, there's no pulled ignition. They basically have a pristine automobile. That car at this point will run now until they turn it off or it runs out of gas. At that point, they either have to have the keys, perform another relay attack, or they just reprogram the computer to accept a new set of keys. So now they have your car, and that's bad enough. But now they also have access to the devices that you've synced up to your car. And believe me, these guys that are doing this theft, they're foot soldiers for somebody who has a level of technological skill that's far beyond yours. And they can access all that information because the Internet of Things is so connected. Isn't it wonderful? There is a problem with modern life. There's too many strings attached. Oh, and by the way, when you try to report this to your insurance company, they're going to want to know why you gave keys to somebody to steal your car. Because as far as the car is concerned, it spoke to the keys to open the door and start the vehicle. Think about that if you own your own car, have a vehicle fleet, or provide valet parking service. Who's going to be on the hook for that? If you found value in this information, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the notifier bell and share this on social media with your friends and family. Please stay tuned because there's more fun to come. I am Security Researcher, and if you just gave me the last seven minutes of your life, I really appreciate it. <laughs>